So, the latest publication of Berserk is out. The final chapter of Kentaro Miura's manuscript. I think, first of all, I want to read what Young Ammo Editing Department said at the end of the chapter for all the fans of Kentaro Miura and, of course, Berserk fans as well. So, the entire thing right here. We would like to take this opportunity to thank all our Berserk readers for your continued support. The Berserk chapter 364 published in this volume is the last work of the late Kentar Mior. We were able to carry on the manuscript he left behind and publish this time thanks to the dedicated support of the Studio Gaga members who worked on Berserk to together with Kentaro Miura over the years. Also, we are delighted to announce the latest release of the comic book this December. We thank all the readers for waiting such a long time, especially in the circumstances where information was unclear and ambiguous. This volume also serves as a special memorial to Kentaro Miura as his last manuscript. We decided to use his ink for the sketch for the cover, especially this time, hoping to convey to all the readers all his passion, which is so strong and fully perceivable even from the ink sketches. We hope that you will feel the devotion that he put into his work. In creating this volume, we have grown deeply aware of how big and powerful Berserk was to us, just like the Guts Mighty Iron Sword. We are deeply sorry to inform that there is no information to share about the future of the Berserk series at this time. One thing we can promise you is that as Young Animal, the publisher that has worked with Kentaro Miura on Berserk, our first priority will always be placed on him, what he would think if he were still with us. Last but not least, we have a message for all fans from Japan and overseas. We have read all the letters that have been sent in with great appreciation. We would like to express our gratitude to you once again for your continuous love and support. Sincerely, Young Animal Editing Department. So that is their message for the fans of Kentaro Miura and, of course, for primarily Berserk uh, across the world and, of course, in Japan. <sighs> this is very difficult, obviously. Tremendously difficult. Because this chapter leaves off on a very, I think, surprising, shocking, powerful note. The child that a lot of folks thought was the child of Guts and Casca, the Moonlight Child, that came out during the full moon, that could ride on the branches of the world tree. There's that very nice shot of Casca, of Guts, and the Moonlight Child between them as if they were genuinely parents. And then Anne was saying how the child had a connection with various people that are, that are part of Guts' party, of course, but mainly and very strongly, obviously, with Casca and Guts. And we see the child get along with Shurka and Ishidro and the folks and the creatures of the island and genuinely and earnestly operating like an innocent child. In fact, to the point where the child itself had it had no malice whatsoever. But time flows differently where they are. And because of that, Casca and Guts consider more time with the Moonlight Child. And it was a very wholesome chapter of just Casca act like a mom. And at times when Guts could, act like a dad. Honestly. And at the end of it all, Griffith. At the end of it all, Griffiths. And like, you knew something was up when the kids started to talk. Man, this is crazy. Like, maybe the child was genuinely Casca and Guts's child, but then because of how time flowed differently here, the astral form of it wound up changing into Griffith. Because the original idea, as far as I recall, was that Casca did get pregnant by Guts. When they first had intercourse years ago, and then when they saved Griffith, and then he became Femto, and then he did what he did. This wind up altering the child's composition because of various supernatural things, obviously. Maybe it's Griffith who's actually embodying the child, rather than the child genuinely uh, being Griffith, per se. 
So it's two souls kind of melded into one. Or it could just be earnestly, truly Griffith. Earnestly. Which in of itself does have some crazy implications. Because him having no malice towards Guts and towards Casca. Despite Casca's scars that she suffered towards Griffith when he was Femto. Clearly scars that to this day have not been fully amended and maybe will never be fully amended and then Guts's journey and his mixed feeling towards Griffith and clearly that has a degree of malice towards that but then the child again the child itself not having any malice towards Guts or Casca if it is genuinely Griffith oh I have questions I have questions I kind of want to reread some chapters of Berserk and see if Griffith Femto if he is there on about during the full moon when we know that the child is active with Casca and Guts. So I do have to revisit some of these arcs and some of these chapters because it's been a very, very long time. It's been a very long time. And I forgot those details. And and that's where... There are people... Okay. <laughs> if Berserk continues on, we are no longer... Riding with Kentar Miura's Berserk. This is going to be Studio Gaga, Young Animals, Berserk. And there are people, I think for a good reason, they are now not going to read Berserk, even if Berserk continues on. They do say that there is no information on the future Berserk series. Zero. At this point in time. Maybe after a year or so, like 2022, 2023, they come back and tell us, okay... We're going to give Berserk maybe X amount of more chapters, and then we'll end off on an open end. It could be this chapter, where it genuinely is the open end. But, I mean, that's crazy. Griffith? The child. Crying. Here. In this island. What's going on with Falconia? Genuinely, was the child never Casca got this child? It was never its own entity, or was it genuinely just all Griffith? I have a lot of questions. I have a lot of questions now. I really do. But damn, it's not Kentaro Miura. I think, for me personally, I do have faith to a degree. Not blind faith, but to a degree. The young animal, the publisher, the one with Miura, that Studio Gaga, even, they can come to a consensus on what Kentar Miura may have wanted moving forward for, let's say, the next five to ten chapters of Berserk. But again, I know, I know that folks are going to just abandon... Rightfully so, folks are going to not read Berserk anymore. Now that we know that this chapter is the last of Kentaro's manuscript. The last. I want to stick around for a bit longer. That's what I want to do. That's what I absolutely want to do. And then we'll see how things go. So it's a very, very tough situation. But all in all, the chapter itself, I thought, was... One of the better chapters, absolutely. One of the better chapters so far in this arc that we've gotten. Yes, absolutely. I think that this arc so far, I haven't gone, I said I would, and I haven't done it just yet, and I will. I promise you I will, all right? Things have been kind of off for the past few weeks for me, personally. I would say this arc hasn't really been one of the better arcs, I would personally argue. Not a bad arc by any measure, but just an overall good arc thus far, where Berserk has done... Some of the most legendary stuff that we've seen in manga. Ever. Ever. But this chapter, I think it's absolutely one of the better chapters. Absolutely. And I have questions, though, as a result of this chapter. And I would like these questions answered, but they just won't be... Probably, they won't be Kentaro Miura's answers to these questions. So, we'll have to and see what happens in the future... I will do an overall review of this arc so far for Berserk. I just want to read through a few things, take my time, really just break things down, analyze it. I just want to kind of give you my overall thoughts 
on the last chapter of Kentaro Miura's work. The last chapter for the late and great Kentaro Miura. Okay. So, let me know your stance on the subject matter at hand. I'm thinking about doing a stream with a few of the Berserk guys that I know and kind of talk Berserk and where we go from here. Uh, I want to see what their takes are on Berserk at this point in time. This arc moving forward. So, but that I'll probably have to plan it out at some point in the future. Let me get to my individual stuff first with Berserk and then we'll move forward from there appropriately. But once again, let me know your stance on the subject matter at hand. I'm going to see you guys on the flip side. Be easy. Stay safe. Have a nice one.